Here I am. Okay, let's see the status. Whoa. Okay, so most of these are grown. What is this? What did I just harvest off of this? Kiwi berries. I think kiwi berries are only spring. Okay, we'll just see which crops die tomorrow. Okay, so I will need... I will need a, a scarecrow for these guys tomorrow. Okay. Let's harvest the fish first. The Lantern Festival. Talk to Lucia in the town square after 7 p.m. Oh, it's tonight. For the festival. Okay. Attend the Lantern Festival. Here you are. Rock you like a hurricane. Bear. Twin hooks grants a 6% chance to reel in a second fish. Nice. Wait, this thing is fully grown. Get out of here. Okay, let's harvest these things. Let's continue harvesting everything. And then uh, I will put down the bees so those plants can start growing. Ooh, there's a treasure chest on the beach today. It had iron and copper bars in it. Wow. Is this? Oh, there's something in there too. Cuttlefish and an iron head sturgeon. Sure, sure. Oh, wait, there's another one over there. So these seaweeds, these are forageable. I should eat these for that perk that I took. The one that you have to eat forageables to gain more mana. Give me mana. I'm a wizard. All right, let's set up the bees. So right now I only have one bee box. Uh, we can just put it like right here. Should be fine. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Uh, so it looks like they only fit like right around them. Cool. Right here. Okay. Uh, iron full. Yeah. So we just put like this, like that, just around them. A box around them. Law, you're welcome. Thank you. All right, let's plant some blue rose seeds with the bees. Okay, and then we're gonna we have to water these. So they have to be watered to grow, but once fully grown, you can leave them alone and they don't have to be watered anymore. Okay, bees are finished, but I still have another 20 seeds. So we could just put some in this area, like the excess ones right there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay. And then this, we just dig up. Hmm. Let's do it like this. So there's a little path and it doesn't feel like we're trampling the roses every time we come down here. Let's do one more. I really hope an NPC doesn't spawn here in the future. This looks like the kind of space 
where something is going to spawn at one point in the game. And it, I hope it doesn't spawn and just like trample all the flowers here. That would not be good. Okay, so I have four more seeds. Yes, so we can put two here, two here, and we're chilling now. Now it's even, and we have a little path to walk through so we don't step on the roses. It doesn't really matter if we step on them. It's just like for RP, you know? All right, and then this area we will set up tomorrow. There's no point hoeing it now. Wait, let's see. So I hold this last night. Is it still hold? If it is, then we can hoe it. Whoa, it stays hold overnight. Okay, well, we'll definitely do that then. We may as well do it. And then tomorrow I won't have to. Let's do that. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Nice, so then tomorrow we could just come plant and water and we're chilling. All right, so here we want to do the earthquake spell. Bam! Then over here, let's do it again. Awesome. I can even use that rain cloud spell that I have to quickly water everything. Okay. And let's just make sure that these guys are covering everything I thought they're covering. So he should be doing, yep, he's doing that whole field to just below the torches. He's protecting all those crops. And then he's protecting... Everything there. Yeah, we're chilling. So these two scarecrows will protect everything placed here. And then now we need to figure out how much that is exactly. Uh, I have some stuff we can sell. What's this? Sell this fish, clams, blue tang. I don't need Dorado. I need carp. I don't need that. We don't need these beans, peas, a cuttlefish. 75 gold. We'll sell that. I don't need that. Old boot. Okay, we'll just sell that. Wait, these have eight old boots? Wait, you can turn the old boots into like cooked old boots and it's worth more. I remember that. Uh, is it this machine? One of these machines does that. Book boot. Nope, not this one. Maybe it's the baker station? No. Oven. No. Fish grill. <laughs> Wait, it is. It's a fish grill. You get roasted old boot for all your boots. So one boot is worth six gold. Old boot. But if you roast it, it's worth 50. Wow, that's a big increase. We're going to roast them all. Roast all my boots. My old boots that I pulled out of the ocean. Uh, okay. So these guys do... I need to figure out how many crops this is. How many crops do these scarecrows protect? Like, what's the number here? Mm, I guess we can just count. We'll just count. Uh, one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hey, I'm back. Sorry, my Twitch glitched out. Anything exciting happened? Welcome back. Uh, no, we're just figuring out how much these scarecrows can cover. So it looks like it's 11 across. And then now I have to figure out how much down. 
So I think it goes to right here. Yeah. So the space above it is the border. Okay, let's dig this out for now. So I don't get confused. This is for the next scarecrow. We're not going to need this. So it's 11 across, and then how high is it up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's 11 by 11, minus one. So that's what, 11 times 11 is 122? 121? 11 times 10 is 111, plus 11 is 122. So it can hold 121 crops, which means both scarecrows combined can hold. Oh no, there goes my torch. Hey, hey, hey. So they can hold, it's 11 by 11. All right, calculator time. 240, okay. So tomorrow we're buying 240 seeds. I have 28,000 minus whatever I spend at the Lantern Festival today. So we need to buy 240 seeds tomorrow to fill up this whole section over here with the raccoons. And we're chilling. Okay. Let's put this stuff away. I'm not sure what to expect from this festival. So, uh, yeah. I think I may need another raccoon. <clears throat> I still need more carp. To finish that other building. Did I ever get enough wood to make that other machine I needed with the sugar cane? I need more planks. Okay, let's make a bunch of planks then. 20. Okay, well, I'm out of wood. Time to chop, chop. All right, so we have to talk to Lucia after seven o'clock to start the festival. Hold on to that. And hold on to that. We're gonna replant these right now. This one is fully grown. That one, there's one in the middle there that looks fully grown. This guy here is fully grown. Chop, chop. Okay. So I know I want the road to come out a little bit from the house, like maybe right about there. And then connect across. Let's remove this. We don't need these. Oh, I need to water these crops. Ooh, I almost forgot about that. Let's do that now. Okay, let's water these crops. We'll find out tomorrow which one of these... I don't remember what these crops even are. So we'll find out tomorrow which one of these can survive a summer. And then whichever ones don't, it's okay. I'm pretty sure these are carrots, and carrots are any season. So these should survive until they're fully grown. And then when they're fully grown, 
We're going to stop planting them over in this area. Okay. Everything is watered. All right, we're chilling. I have 400 gold worth of rusted old boots. <laughs> All right, let's <laughs> sell so that. And I still need carp, so we may as well fish in here and see if we catch any carp. This might be too far. Oh, wait. Come on. Caught a mud catfish. Bite it. Whoa. Does that count? It does. A poppy goldfish. Popeye goldfish. Hmm. Okay, this place is out of seeds. Out of fish. Holy. That might be enough to make the other crafting station I need. Let's check. What is this? Oh, this is in case I need to make another scarecrow, and this can go in a chest. Okay, so I need sugar and planks. Is it this one? Jam maker. Oh, I ran out of stone. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, I'd rather not go into the mine since there's a festival tonight. Let's just go, we'll do a little fishing. We can do a little fishing while we're waiting for the festival. Let me put this stuff away. So I ended up with 576 spring tokens. Okay, you need a thousand for a mount. So next, next spring we should have enough to get whatever mount that, uh, whatever mount it is that costs a thousand. All right, let's go do some fishing. Let's see if anybody has a quest. Maybe somebody has a quick quest we can do. Oh, there's one over here. Oh, this is the one he wants me through. Okay, I have his quest. There's one over here. Second date with Catherine quest available from Catherine at the farming store. A date with Catherine? I haven't gone on any dates with Catherine. Aw. She's trying to strong arm me into a relationship. What? <laughs> Uh, let's just go to the beach then. Ooh, wait, there's some juicy apples over here and oranges. Hold up. Hold on a minute. Do any of these give mana? Health? Health? Okay. Some more trees around here. Well, all these are fully grown. What is this? Nothing. Three apple trees. Yup. Yup. A berry. I think these berries give mana. They do. Okay, we're gonna eat that. Delicious.
Hey, there's something over there. We could turn some of these apples into apple juice. Uh, ooh, this gives mana. Whoa, they both give mana. Okay, we're going to gorge on them. What did I find? I got an achievement. Expert Explorer. I found a small mana tome. Ooh, okay, we'll read that. Two mana. And I got to level up. Okay. For now, we're still waiting for the festival to start, which is at 7. So we're going to do a little fishing. Oh, hello. So this is a considered a forageable and it gives mana. We're going to eat that. Oh, my perk. My eat the forageable stuff perk. This will sell later. Okay. Any fish out here? Aha. Uh -huh. Whoa. What the heck? I caught two flower flounders. Whoa, they're worth 150 gold each. Researchers claim this fish's unique body structure helps it survive in the wild. Well, if they say so. <laughs> All right, we'll just sell that, I guess. What's up, Nathan? Nathaniel? Looking at you, I wonder if I should add farming to the soldier's exercise regimen. <laughs> How are the soldiers doing anyway? Oh, they're excelling in their exercises. Sophie is a real monster, and I mean that in a good way. Pinto, on the other hand, well, he's got a lot of heart. It sounds like Sophie would do well for herself in the military. Maybe, but there's more to being a leader than being good with a sword. She's still learning the part. Judging by her tenacity, she could make a great officer one day. Hmm. So who's the best fighter in the corpse? I'll exclude Rosa since she's an officer, but that really just leaves Sophie. In fact, I'd say she's right on Rosa's tail. Watching the two of them spar is like watching an epic battle. Give it another year and Sophie could take Rosa's title. What if I told you, what if I told Rosa you said that? <laughs> I bet, okay, I bet neither of them is on your level though. This should raise his heart level. Aha, it did. That's nice, but I'm actually not sure. So he's one of the romanceable characters. I mean, we're not gonna romance him. We're mo romancing Lucia, but. So raising hearts with him, with that perk, would also give me money. That's nice, but I'm actually not sure. Just because I'm the captain doesn't mean I'm a better fighter. In fact, I might even bet against myself in that fight. Hey, you want an apple? Boom. Aha. Hey, apples are a great snack. Thanks a lot. No problem, man. Okay, there's some more fish over here. Oh, I think that's a fail. Nope. We just caught it. Wow. Wow, he bit that so fast. Fight it again. A salmon level up six percent chance to reel in a nine percent chance to reel in and second fish cool
Hey, here's the like town fisherman. Hey there, farmer, spending some time with the sea today. I have to ask about the crab. <laughs> the what? Oh, you mean Shelby? Shelby? That's an adorable name. Aha. <laughs> Raise up a little bit. She's the finest lady I ever sailed with. I was shipwrecked once and washed ashore. Shelby pinched me right on the cheeks and woke me up before the tide swept me out again. She's my savior and my first mate. Okay, what's your opinion on Wintergate? That's the city that's supposed to be dark all the time, right? I hear a lot of tales from port to port, but when Withergate, oh, that's not winter. Withergate might be the tallest tale yet. You aren't worried about the monsters then? I didn't say that. In my experience, it's best to be wary of these things, true or not. Hmm, okay. Can I grab these? Or chop them, maybe? Nope. Okay. All right, well, let's speed up time while we're waiting for this festival. Uh, gameplay, is it? Day speed, 15 minutes. Zoom, zoom. No fish over here. Oh, there's the doctor. If anyone would appreciate an apple, it's got to be the town doctor. Warnhart. Settling in all right, are we? What's on your mind, farmer? Have you lived here your whole life, doc? No, I relocated from the southern islands about a year ago. The south is great, but I'm lucky to be here. Sunhaven has been good to me. Do you miss the southern region? I'll tell you what I do miss. The fruit. Oh, he likes fruit. Fruit trees grow all over the place down there. I used to pick a free breakfast while walking to work every day. One less thing to worry about, you know. You're the only doctor in Sunhaven. Don't worry. I'm well equipped to take care of this town. Besides, almost everyone here is in great health. It's honestly a little boring for me, but I'd much rather be bored than stressed out. More people could use a little boredom in their life. I agree completely. I always feel better after slowing down and taking a breath. Sunhaven has let me do that more than ever before. Hey, here's a gift. An apple. Boom. Whoa, he like didn't like it? An apple a day? Oh, man. Do you? He didn't like it. Oh, man. Do you have any idea how many apples I get? I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound rude. It's just I don't know what to do with them all. <laughs> so he doesn't like apples. Okay. He just said he likes fruit, but not apples. Well, good to know. Don't let the warm spring air fool you. You'll still catch a cold. All right, Doc. So then next time we'll give him an orange or something else. It's not an apple. He doesn't like apples. An apple a day pisses the doctor away. Hey, who's this? June. June likes apples. So is it love at first sight? I mean, with Sunhaven? Uh, you've been here a while, right, June? Do you still like it here? Of course, Sunhaven is great. I just wish it was doing better. The people here have a strong will, though. So I'm optimistic. The trick is not losing hope, and if anyone does lose hope, then that's where I come in. Uh, I think Sunhaven will bounce back. That's exactly the positivity I'm talking about. I already knew you were a positive person, but it's nice hearing you talk like that. Did you move here like me? Not at all. I was born and raised here in Sunhaven. I've never even visited the great city. My little house has been my only home all my life. 
Living in one house your whole life sounds boring. Okay, let's not be rude. There's no reason to move if you're happy. Aha. Boom. We got half a heart for that. Oh, absolutely. Hey, feel free to come visit me whenever you want. You know, so you can see my home. My house is just above Liam's. He's a great neighbor too. Okay, here. Boom. Apple. I have a lot of apples. You can have one. Gift. Oh, he liked it. Ah, apples make an excellent healthy snack. Thanks for sharing. Hey, no problem, dude. No problem, dit. Dit. Uh, is there anywhere to fish around here? Oh, right here. We're gonna go fish next to Grandpa. What's up, Grandpa? Wise old man. <laughs> you know what I've learned, kid? The early bird catches the lemon and makes it into lemonade or something like that. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna fish here, so don't mind me. All right, swim over and bite the hook. Boy, he's doing it. Bite it. What? Try again. Caught a catfish. There was another fish. Oh, I see him over there. Get him. Whoa. It's almost seven o'clock. Wow, this thing is going so fast. Okay. Uh. Well, let's slow the time down now. Holy, that went real fast. Uh. Okay, so we need to find Lucia. Where is Lucia? Over there. She's in town hall. Okay, seven o'clock. Time to start the festival. We're gonna sell all these fish when we get back to the farm. Hello, Lucia. Wonderful. You are just in time to join me on my way to the festival. Are you ready to go now? Let's do it. Whoa, this is really nice. That's a dragon. Welcome everyone. I'm honored to have you all gathered with me tonight. We are here to usher in the new season with a fire in our hearts, represented by the candles that we carry our wishes aloft in the sublime evening air. I can smell summer blowing in on the wind already. Have I mentioned that this is my absolute favorite event of the year? The beautiful lanterns, a promise of bountiful season going forward. It fills me with hope. Now that you've all been so patient, let this year's lantern festival begin. Bernard, take it away. Yes, <laughs> hello everyone. To prepare for the upcoming summer, it is crucial that we follow tradition. When everybody is ready, we will release our wish lanterns. Okay. Most importantly, everyone must hold a true wish in their heart before releasing lanterns. This will imbue the lantern with energy. If the wind is favorable and the wishes are true, then we will have a prosperous summer. And of course, thank you all for being here. Let's have some fun. All right, so. Okay. Enjoy the festival. Easy. Let's see if time is passing. Hopefully it freezes. The Lantern Festival is my absolute favorite night of the year. Can you believe it? It's already here. This time seems to slip so quickly. Oh, she's hanging out with Anne. Lucia told me we each get a wish tonight, but I don't really believe in that stuff, do you? Bernard. Oh, wonderful. Ember, you're here. I must make sure everyone present is ready before we begin the main event, because the festival will end after the main event is finished. Are you ready to start the main event now? You will be given a lantern just before we begin. Not to spoil the surprise, but you're something of an honored guest tonight. What are you selling? A lantern festival portal selling portal. A mystical portal linked directly to merchants ready to be 
1500 for that? I don't think so. What's this? A box paper lantern made of nice paper dried and reused colors. It might. Take this home, and then every night can be your own little mini lantern festival. Uh, okay. Hourglass paper lantern. Take this home, and every night can be your... Okay. Tapered paper lantern made of rice paper. Paper lantern strand. Uh, hold off on that. I have a lot of seeds I have to buy tomorrow, and these don't seem all that helpful. Let's see what else is for sale. It's a chicken. Donovan. Help. I snuck into this party, and these little minions are chasing my tail. Oh. <laughs> That's the first time I've been Donovan. Come back, puppy. Oh, he's a dog. He's one of those Amari, half human, half animals. Can't talk. We got to catch this dog. Mom's going to be so happy when we bring him home. <laughs> okay. There's Lynn. You know something? This festival is not far off a holiday. We celebrate in the Eastern region. Except our lanterns sail away on boats instead of flying in the air. Mari. You look like you're having fun. Ronald. Nothing rings in the new season like a nice bowl of noodles. What are you selling? He's selling oranges. Provides a huge amount of health permanently. Whoa. Uh, he has one. Sure, I'll buy that. Spicy shrimp ramen provides a huge amount of mana permanently. Yep, I'll buy that. Pork ramen, huge amount of mana permanently. Yep. Egg ramen, huge amount of mana permanently. He only has one of each of these. Moon cake. This is the thing that um, mana regen permanently. Whoa, that's really good. Provides a moderate amount of mana regen permanently. Oh my god, dude, give it to me. Chow mein. Okay, these are just normal recipes now. This doesn't do anything. Just gives health. We don't need that. Uh, health and mana. Don't need. Dumplings. Mana. Don't need that. What's this? Festive orange tree seed. These tiny seeds will sprout into a bountiful orange tree once planted. Orange trees take 10 days to grow. Uh, 1800. It's a festive orange tree. What's that mean? I guess I'll buy it. He has two. Sure. Uh, okay. So let's eat these oranges. Okay, nice. Okay, good, good. Big buffs. Egg ramen. What else did I get? I think it was just that. Nice. And then these will plant somewhere around the farm. Festive orange trees. Okay, sure. Careful with that festival food. It's easy to overeat when it tastes so good. I know exactly what I'm wishing for. Don't ruin it. <laughs> okay. Ember, I'm glad you made it. I can't wait to send my wish soaring into the universe. The doctor. This reminds me of summer nights in the southern islands. The days were too hot, so everybody came out at night to socialize. Mm, that makes sense. On those hot days, you just chill indoors or at your job. And then at night, everybody goes out. At least I get to see the festival. Okay, what are you selling? Year of the Rabbit plushie. A cute plushie honoring the Zodiac Year of the Rabbit. Uh, Year of the Horse plushie? These are just plushies. So stuffed animals? Uh, I don't need any of this stuff. Year of the dog, year of the rat, year of the rooster, year of the pig plushie, year of the snake plushie. Whoa, that one looks cool. Year of the dragon plushie. 
800 gold for a plushie though i don't think so i need to buy a lot of seats somewhere else so we'll start we'll hold on to that i've never been part of such a warm community like this i don't know what to wish for because i feel like i already have everything i need i wish all my soldiers could be here they deserve a night off then again who knows what mischief they're getting into in my absence I love big events like these. Would everyone gather to celebrate? It reminds me of holidays growing up. Kitty. I haven't tried the food yet, but it smells amazing. Elizabeth? Do these wishes really come true? Oh, hi, Amber. I baked some popovers for the event, but I forgot them. I hope Emma and Elizabeth won't be too upset. What are you going to wish for? Wait, never mind. Don't jinx it can't tell you wishes are a secret uh these little festivals are cute but i don't get the excitement all you do is light a candle in a paper bag right well there's something over there human celebrations are so weird wait who the heck are you xyla why do you need to have a whole event just to throw a party this would be a regular night in wintergate okay darius is this what humans consider a celebration? Celebrations in Wintergate are far more grand than whatever this sad little display is. But I suppose you have to work with what you got. Okay. Well, it moved me. It teleported me there. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be a farmer of this town, would you? That's right. How did you know? I didn't know. That's why I asked. I travel around... To these lantern festivals selling a special companion to farmers around each region a companion the kind you won't find anywhere else i am a dragon trader oh a dragon wait a minute i've traveled all the way from a distant land to spread these dragons across the world they love to help care for crops so farmers are the folk who usually buy them that's why i came here looking for a farmer like you how about taking a look? Okay, let me see the little guy. A lantern spirit for 2,500 gold. With an affinity for taking care of plants, this little dragon has a chance to water some of your crops when left on your farm overnight. Oh, he can help water plants. Yeah, absolutely. Sold. I'll buy him. Okay. Well, we'll drop him on the farm when we get back over there. Cool. Does he have any more? Nope, just one. All right. Do you think there was something over there? No. <clears throat> There's somebody over here and there's somebody over there i'm not one for making wishes but i'm also not one for breaking tradition so here we go i hope you're enjoying the festival if anyone starts acting up don't hesitate to find me the god iris i've never been to the festival like this before i've already had three bowls of noodles okay somebody over here hmm. can't reach him the lantern festival is a nice break from the norm people seem to cheer up around this time of year what a lovely night to sell to have a celebration you look great in this light ember then thanks man mm, okay looks like that's it so let's check the vendors one more time. We bought all of these things. These don't give anything permanent. It's just like food and stuff. I bought the festive orange tree seeds. We'll plant those uh, later. And then what are you selling again? I think he's just selling. This is like a, a portal to sell stuff. Do you want to buy that for 1500? I don't think so. I can craft more of them. And I need that money to buy seeds tomorrow. Mmm. Nah. 
this is just i think this is like a miscellaneous decoration i need this money for seeds i have to buy 240 seeds to fill up both of those those um scarecrows so yeah what's this these are just plushies okay let's start the festival start it up bernard do it Fantastic. Everyone, attention, please. I trust everyone has had plenty of time to enjoy themselves thus far. At this time, I would like to lead the event toward its finale, the wishing. We release these wishes not only with the hopes that they will come true, but also so their energy may combine with that of our guardian, Elios the Sun Dragon. As the lanterns float past dragons meet, Helios will take in their wish energy and transform it into an immense blessing for Sunhaven. If we have enough wishes, we could be looking at an easy summer ahead of us. This year, I want one person in particular to take the first wish. They have proven themselves to be a singularly caring member of our community. Their selfless work has already put Sunhaven in the direction of progress. Ember. You deserve to have the first wish after the rest of us will follow. Please release your wish lantern. Okay. There it goes. Now everyone together, send your wish lanterns into the sky. Thank you everyone, what a lovely sigh. I already feel optimistic. Now everyone should feel free to return home and dream of the splendid summer that awaits. I'll see you all next season. Okay, and thus concludes the festival. Oh, I got a quest for that? Uh, exploration EXP, and then we get to choose a chicken lantern? Oh, a chick lantern. No one a chicken lantern. Chicken. Okay, we got a chicken lantern. What do I do with this? Sheets of paper elegantly arranged to resemble the colorful chicken. Commemorating successful lantern venture. Left click to place. Okay. Oh, so it's a decoration. Whoa, that's cool. Okay. It looks like it lights up too. All right. Put that inside the house. So we should release the pet then over here by where all the crops are. Where the crops are gonna be anyway. Uh, Lantern spirit. Okay, you can live in this area. There you go. Good boy. Uh, maybe not on top of it. What if we just put it like right there? He, okay. And then I have these orange trees. We're going to have to figure out where to put that later. E okay. We got to get to bed. Got to get to bed. It's getting late. He's going to pass out. Uh, sell, 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 sell. Sell these oranges. And then, uh, all right. Can I put the chicken on there? Oh, just put it right here. Oh, bed. I got pass out. 